Oh right, guys, welcome. So we're going to basically show you how to set up Blender Octane in 2024 and download it. First thing first, you're going to need to go to the old toy website, make an account. If you're new, sign into your account, get that all done and out of the way. Click on render, go to Octane render. And then we're going to scroll down here to free trial. Once we're on free trial, we're going to click here on Octane render prime free trial. Now, again, this is free to use as long as you're using Blender, Daz, Unity or Unreal Engine. And the one thing is I, here are some of the things. So use this is available using this is only on the Internet. Like you have to have an Internet connection for you to access the Octane server to initiate the render. OK, the paid version, you don't need that. So if you don't want to have it connected to the Internet, like here, connected Viva to the Internet, pay for it. And you don't have to worry about that only a limited subsets of plugins are available. I haven't had any plugins that weren't available, so I don't know what you're getting into if you hit that mark. Octane Render Standalone is not available in the Prime tier. Uh, Octane Offline USB doggles are not supported. A maximum of one GPU on the free version. So if you got multiple GPUs, you can only use one. And that networking rendering is not available in the free trial version, okay? Now, not even trial. I mean, it's just the free tier the, the free trial version up here. Octane X offers a little bit more, but I'm not getting into that because I don't use that. What we're going to do here is you're going to go ahead and click on try. Try now. Go ahead. And again, there is a couple of different versions. There is the Octane plugin, which I initially downloaded. And again, if you're using like the latest version of Blender, Blender 4.0, you can download the Octane plugin and then works. But I've had a lot of issues with it. It kept crashing on me. I went back to what was working. So I'm currently at the moment of January 19, 2024. I am using the Blender uh, Octane Edition. It's a standalone version of Blender. And it's on, uh, I'm currently using the 23.1.1 and I'm using it on Windows, okay? So that means the version of, of Blender is a little bit dated. It's not up to date, it's not a 4.0. But I don't have any issues with that because most of the stuff that's in the newer, I do have another version of Blender 4.0 on my computer. And if there's something that I really needed, I'll just use the standard vanilla Blender with cycles and stuff. So it's not like you have to commit to uh, one render or the other. Like I have to only use Octane. I don't use anything else. I use everything. I use Octane. I use cycles. I use Eevee. It's just I save my Octane render Blender version just for Octane. OK, download this. And then make sure you also download the server. We're going to need the server. This is why we have to have an Internet connection, right? Once you guys have those downloaded next, I would advise you downloading the new version of Octane Node Wrangler. OK, this is mandatory. So go to this website here. I will also put a link down in the description of this video. Download this. I just updated to the 4.1 1.41 version. OK, so make sure you download node wrangler okay once you guys have all of that we're going to jump into blender all right so now i'm inside of blender i'm inside my version what i'm going to do here is set this back to the default version that you will have and i'm going to go load factory settings make sure you install it make sure you install octane server okay and then i'm going to come down here to the octane server mine is already logged in make sure you log in with your password and your name for that that has to be running in the background for octane to work okay so once you got that running you're all good to go. So what we do is we immediately jump in and everybody always does this. They hit the rear, the render button and think like it's magically going to be running and it's not right. It's basically cycles running. OK, so we need to change our render. Well, that's easy. Let's go over here to Octane. Boom. Oh, there's no Octane. Where's Octane? We have to initiate it just like we do any other plugin. We go to preferences. We kill this camera here. We're going to go to preferences. I'm going to open this up big. I'm going to come in here and type in OCT. And here it is, Octane Blender. I'm using the version 28.62 right now. I want to activate that. There it goes. And then I'm also going to activate my Node Wrangler custom built for Octane. No, activate that. Now we come in here and scroll this tab down. This is pretty much everything. Everything I use is stock. The only thing if you want to change is your default material. Maybe you like to have a glossy material all the time or I just leave it on universal. It's no biggie for me. And it's the same thing with the Node Wrangler. I don't change anything. Here is the Node Wrangler documentation. If you want to go into that, I have looked at that. I suggest and recommend you do go ahead and look at that to find out some quick keys, right? So once we've got all that, go ahead and save our preferences. We'll close this. 
Now, if we scroll over to our list, boom, there it is, Octane Render. And again, let's fire it up. And it looks like nothing. We're in the darkness, right? Well, we need to change the world. The world is still set up from Octane. This light from Cycles, trash it. Can't use Cycles lights. They don't work, okay? So what we're going to do is change our world settings. And what I like to do is just click on world settings right here, press the X, and we're going to add in a new world, new world. And I'm going to go texture environment. I'm going to go daylight environment. That's the octane daylight system. Some of you guys may be familiar with this Nashida light model, which is also in cycles. You can select that if you want, or you can just use the standard octane one. These are your daylight systems. OK, and this is how we move our sun around. Now, again, if we go ahead and fire up the render. Well, that doesn't look right. It's completely blown out, right? I'm going to add in a plane here just so we're not looking at the void of the matrix here. Scale that up, grab my plane, my little cube, GZ1, drop that in there. Okay, this still doesn't look right. Something's off, right? It's our color space. Now we're going to scroll down here all the way to the bottom. Color management. Go to color management. Right now we're looking, reviewing Filmic. Octane doesn't need anything. It just wants raw. <laughs> it wants the rawness. We click on raw. Boom. Okay, there we go. That's looking great. Now we've actually got something that's working. Okay. So from here, the next thing that most people want to do is, well, I don't want to use this sky system. I want to use my own HDRI. And then another thing is, hang on. Well, what, you know, what renders are we using? What render settings are we using? At the moment, we look here like I can't select any of these kernels. This is where we used to come in here and select the kernels, right? So let's kill the render. All right, quickly. So I forgot to show you guys the kernel setup. The kernel setup is actually very easy. Go to the shading tab, switch to octane kernel. Once you're in the kernel, you're just going to hit this button here. Quick add node tree. That's going to give us our kernel setting here. And you can see we're set up to direct lighting. We don't want direct lighting or you may, but you want to use the best one is to be path tracing. So from here, we can go over to kernels, select path tracing kernel, and then you can see there it switches. So now you're able to switch and change all your different types of kernels. So make sure you do that. It's super easy. Again, access that through the Octane Kernel tab, and then that's how you can switch it. And I'll switch back to the Shader Editor, and boom. I'm going to jump into the Shading tab. Kill the render. Now, within the Shading tab here, we can also see, oh, we got this material. This is a Cycles material that's on this cube. Trash it. Doesn't work. Same thing with this plane. Okay, there's nothing on there. We'll click on it. Add a new material. There is the Octane material. And another way you can always make sure you're using it, if you go to All, check it out, EV Cycles octane there's our octane material okay boom right there easy so what we next need to do is set up our hdri okay i'm going to switch over to the world tab make this full screen and here is our daylight environment now what i like to do is add in my hdri delete that shift a press s and we're just going to type in e let me scroll that there it is texture environment we're going to go ahead and plug that into environment and then what we need to do is we need our image. I'm going to go shift S R G B, pick an R G B image. I'm going to drop that R G B image into the texture. I'm going to load up my H D R I. Oh, okay. That's loaded. Now again, make sure your legacy gamma C is set to one. If you're using an older version of node Wrangler octane, it's going to set it to 2.2 by default. Again, that's why I use the update. Now it's set to one, which is proper. Then we're going to add in a projection. I'm going to go shift a S matter of fact. No, I'm going to show you the menu shift a go down here to projection octane projection. Here's all of our projection types. Okay. We want a spherical projection. Take that plug it into projection and we're going to want to be able to move our HDRI around. Right? So we're going to grab this UV transform and drop that there. Now I always will go to rotate up here for some reason. I don't, it doesn't work, right? I come down here to translate this top one here was going to rotate our HDRI. OK, so now let's jump back in. Let's fire up the render and see what we've got going here. Now, if I look updating, let it update. Boom. There it is. There's our HDRI. And that just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Let's add a little bit of materials on this bottom plane here. I'm going to switch back to my object world, new material. I'm going to grab this, just darken it up a little bit with my albedo here, something like that. And then matter of fact, I'm just going to grab a little bit of roughness into that. Just a tad bit there. I like to switch my deep BFD model to GGX Energy Preserve. This gives me a little bit of better of a look there. 
and there it is so we've got that set up okay now if we go and just jump back over to our world settings really quickly here and make sure everything is ready this is what we've got going but now like you said let me jump into my camera hey i want to move around my hdri so how do i do that okay well that's easy we come to this top tab here hold shift and now we can just rotate take note of the shadow see the shadow rotating around there there it is now that's how you rotate it the scene around you guys want to see what that's looking like also this bottom one here i use to move my hdmr up a little bit or move it down a little again we're using that spherical projection that's why it has that little bit of bow to it but again if you're trying to put like an image uh, another background here that's going to be very easy to set up so for example we would do is visible environment we're going to take this same setup here we're going to take this rgb duplicate that and then we're just going to put that over here we're going to plug in another texture environment i'm going to go ahead and duplicate that plug that into here grab this and then i'm going to plug this into my texture just like that and then whatever texture that you use here i'm going to go ahead and just change it to a different one okay and then once that's loading waiting for image whenever it says that just let the computer do its thing don't add any inputs in you may crash uh, octane okay that's a note that i've gotten actually from the actual official uh user manual it says whenever it says waiting for image just let it do its thing and don't add any inputs in okay so now that we've got that now i don't see anything i plugged it into visual environment and i still don't see anything well we need to let it know hey i want this to be the back plate we come here to visual environment back plate now there it is i have a different background but i'm using the light from the other hdri okay that's how you can add a different background into your scene and again if we wanted to move that around we need to again add in our uv transform this time i'm not going to put a projection on it because i don't want it to be distorted and now we can rotate it around there it is totally different look and then i can move this up and down here kind of you know, so that's how you can add that or maybe do you want to do any of that what if we just delete all that come back here to texture environment now we just have a white background or we can just do this boom there it is now you just have a blue background okay so that's how we set up pretty much our stuff from beginning to end. Let me jump in here and bada bing, bada boom. Jump over to the Gumroad, guys. I have plenty of free stuff there for days. Literally, I have this uh, Mastering Basic Materials with Blender Octane Guide. We will build this little whole computer setup using Octane Systems. I got a bunch of free materials. Uh, and here's my startup file. Again, I have a different startup file. Let me quickly show you what it looks like in my startup file. So when I load up my startup file, make sure you save a startup file because otherwise you're gonna have to do that whole process every single time you turn on Octane and you don't wanna do that. So here is my setup file. Again, I have my little render window over here, which I'll just fire up. And then that allows me to come over here and work. I have this little guy set up in the scene for reference. Whenever I'm building things, I want things to be to scale because working in Octane, one thing that I learned on the website from the user manual, it says, work at real world scale that's how octane is designed it was designed to work at real world scale so if you're making a a building don't make it the same size as this guy because that's not real world scale and the lights won't interact the way they were designed to interact okay so you'll have access to this definitely at the gum road you can download this setup file go ahead and load that up i got shaders free shaders in here free materials a lot of free stuff take a look at all these resources guys and of course the channel here make sure you smash the like subscribe and i got plenty of stuff actually i'm working on a video right now after this one about octane's fog system which i've been researching for the last week so stay tuned keep filming or wrong channel sorry keep rendering i'll catch you guys in the next one patrick lavar